problem uh, considered in this uh, video is of uh, gate 2012 and it is uh, from the area of wave propagation uh, with the conductor as a normal incidence. So uh, we will first read out the problem here and then we will give solution to this problem. This problem states that a plane wave propagation in air with E equals 8 AX plus 6 AY plus 5 AZ and E to the power J omega T plus 3 X minus 4 Y volts per meter is incident on a perfectly conducting slab positioned at x less than or equal to 0. The field of the reflected wave is all the four options are there and you have to find out which is the right option. Now first we will see the slab is being put uh, the x, y, z and this right handed coordinate system and this conductor slab is put in the yz plane and this conductor slab is at x is equal to 0 and less than 0. That means all around this on left hand side is a conductor slab and right hand side is a free space. So the electric field is given here that electric field equals 8 ax plus 6 ay plus 5 az it was j omega t plus 3x minus 4y. That means the electric field components are present in all the uh, coordinates and all the directions like x, y and z. All these components are there. But we have to see uh, the boundary conditions on the boundary of free space and this conductor slab. So to apply the boundary conditions to this what we have to do is we have to find out the tangential component of the field components and also we have to find the normal component of the field components on this boundary and then we will apply the boundary conditions for tangential and normal components. So from this the fields are there in all three directions but if we look for the tangential field the tangential field components would be uh, in y direction and in z direction so that the tangential field component we can write here as ET the tangential component could be written as uh, this part here. That means the component in y direction and component in z direction. So 6 ay plus 5 az. So this is the tangential component and then uh, what is the normal component? The, because x is normal to this interface so 8ax is the normal component. We can write the normal component. It is 8ax being the normal component. Now we have to apply the boundary condition uh, at this interface for the tangential as well as the normal component. On a conductor, uh, net tangential component of the field has to be zero. For the net field on the surface of the conductor to be zero, the, the tangential part, E tangential reflected should be opposite of this, then only they will cancel out at the uh, conductor surface. So this should be minus 6 Ay minus 5 Az. This is the tangential reflected component. Similarly, the normal component here is 8Ax. This is the normal component and this normal component, this normal component also has 
to satisfy the boundary condition again the normal component has to be net normal component has to be zero so e normal reflected should be equal to minus 8 ax so this is for the normal component of the field now the equation here uh, what we have to find in this is e field of the reflected wave what would be the reflected wave and what will be its e field now the electric field for the reflected wave as we have seen is e would be minus 8 ax this is a normal component minus 6 ay minus 5 az this is for the reflected component this is a field component and this is an e to the power j omega t minus 3x minus 4y this option this is the c option and this is the correct option since now the reflected wave will be moving in the plus x direction so the component here g to g omega t minus 3x this represents the plus x direction movement of the wave so the option c option c is right okay thank you